Hi, uh, today's video is prompted by a panic call I got from a customer not too long ago uh, because they needed to uh, delimit a bunch of recurring payments um, and they couldn't figure out how to do it. Uh, the process is a little bit convoluted, so I want to walk through the steps today uh, so that you can uh, know how to do this in case you ever need to uh, delimit a whole bunch of recurring payments for a whole bunch of employees all at once. Okay, in order to end date uh, existing recurring payments, First, we're going to uh, obviously identify the list of employees with the payments that need to be indated. Uh, we're going to run a report and we need to check uh, if any of these people have future dated compensation inf information records. Um, if there are, then we're probably gonna wanna handle those people manually. Uh, I have not included this step in the demo for brevity's sake, um, but it's definitely something you would need to do because uh, otherwise you're, you're probably going to uh, continue that recurring payment too long um, if you don't check for those future dated records. Uh, Next, we're going to run a report of all compensation information records. So we're just going to pull that down. We're going to use a report schema, person and employment uh, export. Um, that's if you're still using the old reporting tool. Um, that'll change with a new reporting tool, uh, People Analytics Emb Embedded Edition. Uh, and you're going to uh, run that, and we're going to run with the end date of 1231-9999. So in other words, we're going to pull all the top of stat compensation information records. Um, and then we're going to filter the list to look uh, uh, only employees with payments to be indated. Um, so we're going to do that using uh, a VLOOKUP. So um, that's going to be uh, the, the first thing we're going to do. Secondly, we're going to run a report of all recurring pay records. So not just compensation records, but also the recurring pay records have to be, uh, we have to run a report for those. And then we're going to delete out of that file as well all uh, but the 1231-9999 records. So again, top of stack. And then we're going to filter to only the list of, pay, uh, of employees with payments. And then we're going to build a recurring pay delimit file. So uh, uh, we're basically, we have to have two files, one for, for compensation and one for recurring payment because you can't load recurring payments without the overall compensation header record. So we're going to need to have both of those in place. Um, then we're going to load the compensation file first and then secondly, we will load in the recurring payment file. Okay, so let's go through this process now. Okay, so now we are going to go grab the report values that we need in order to populate our load files. So we're gonna go into Report Center. Um, we are going to use the old school reports. So I'm gonna go into Report Table, Select. I'm going to go to Person and Employment e Export. And let's see, first I am going to go in to um, create the uh, compensation information report. So I'm going to go uh, in and the uh, I'm going to call this top of stack and select the columns that I need. Pretty much just go into compensation information. Not a whole lot of fields in this uh, section, so I just select them all. Uh, now for filter, uh, as I indicated, this is going to be top of stack uh, report. So I'm just going to get the end date and I am going to select uh, only uh, records with an end date of 1231-9999. So I scroll to the bottom of the list, select that, done, done. And now I will save my report and generate my file. All right, I have uh, downloaded that report. Next, I am going to Okay, so now I'm going to create my second report, which is the uh, recurring pay top of stack report. 
So I'm going to select that report. Again, report table. And I'm going to select uh, uh, person employment export again. These steps um, should look pretty similar because there's pretty much the same thing I did uh, with the compensation information file. Again, uh, so I'm going to find the pay component recurring, select all those fields, click done. Again, filter, I only want the top of stack. So when I'm done here, let's go down, I'm gonna select my end date. Oh, yes. Um, also, uh, I am going to be going in and I'm going to select only the type of recurring payments that we are going to need to be delimiting. So in this case, I am looking for uh, meal plans for Australia. Uh, this is in the demo system. And so I, I just uh, uh, using uh, meal plans for Australia as the uh, example. So you can see here, I'm going to select meal AU. And now it is time to uh, select the end date. So I'll just go to 1231.999, just like I did um, on the compensation. And so now I will have a file that includes all mill AU entries. And you'll see here, I've got everything uh, together. I'm going to save mill AU. I'm going to save, generate, and download my file. Okay, so now I have a compensation information uh, header record and a uh, compensation, I mean, a recurring pay uh, record, uh, also top of stack with all of the meal AU entries in it. Okay, so now um, I am into uh, delimit uh, recurring payment. So this is the uh, file that I am putting together. This is the uh, listing of all of the meal AU entries. Uh, so in this example, um, I am just down. Uh, I'm delimiting all the uh, existing meal AU entries. Uh, if this was a this was a real life example. Uh, we may have some that need to stay and that's where the VEG lookup would come into play. But here, as you can see here, I'm putting in a start date of 10-1-2019 and an end date of 12-31-9999. Um, and that's for the frequency. Now, the next thing I need to do is I'm going to import, import employee data and I need to, that the export file that I just ran uh, from the reporter, the export report that I just came up with. Uh, I can't use that to import. I actually have to use the template uh, from success factors in order to do the import into, uh, into success factors. So I'm going to go grab that now. So uh, here I'm going to select my entity, pay component recurring. And uh, actually I need to not, not select the uh, entity here. I need to download the template. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, also pay component recurring though. And that looks good. I've got everything that I need. I will generate that template. And so now I just need to transfer the data from my uh, report to the file. So you can see here, I'm gonna select all of the records for the user IDs uh, that have a meal entry that I want to delimit. I'm gonna put in a start date and an end date.
And the most important part of this is the operation that I'm going to set up, which is delimit. So I'll select a uh, uh, select the file and set up delimit. Um, I am putting in sequence number. And since I am delimiting, I don't I don't have to put in the amount. That's pretty much all I need. I need to know, say the sequence number, the date, the user ID, and the operation of delimit. Uh, basically, this is going to be what we use to tell success factors that this is the uh, these are the recurring pay records that we want to delimit. So they, they, it's going to take all the existing pay records um, for these employees uh, at this sequence number, and it's going to delimit them. All right, so that is part one. Part two is compensation. So we have to do the exact same thing for compensation. So we're going to take the listing of um, employees that we have compensation records for because this this record list is going to be much longer. We're gonna have we have way more compensation uh, entries than we do. Um, uh, we have no way on the compensation file to know which of these uh, employees or which of these uh, um, uh, employees have uh, Australia meal entries. So we have to do a VLOOKUP. So we're taking this the full file of compensation information and we're going to do a VLOOKUP against it and we're going to and we're going to use this in order to filter down our list to only those compensation information records that actually have. Um, that, that we need to delimit. So this is gonna be a much shorter list when we're done. And just gonna do our good old uh, VLOOKUP processes. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, delete off all the entries that are in A. In other words, the ones that uh, do not have a matching uh, Australian meal plan. So we're going to delete off the compensation information records that we don't need to be importing. So, all right, so now I have wiped all of those out and all that's left are the, uh, em the employee numbers, um, the top of stack records for the employees that have an Australian meal plan that are part of our scope of people that we need to uh, delimit. So now I am putting in the start date because I'm going to be inserting a new record um, for top of stack for all of these employees. And um, so I'm putting in the start date. I'm changing the event reason to uh, pay other. That's the event reason we're going to use for our delimit. And so now we are done with that. Okay, so now um, comes the fun part, which is we're going to actually do the uploads uh, to make the uh, records go away. So I need to first, of course, generate the template for the compensation import. So I'm going to be putting in uh, the, the start date And the event reason. User ID. And that's it. Notice we're not delimiting the compensation information record. This one uh, continues on. This one, we're actually inserting a new record uh, overall into compensation information, we are only uh, including delimit on the uh, recurring pay file. So the so again, we end up with a compensation information uh, file, which is of course the parent um, that where we're basically announcing that there is going to be a new change effective as of 10-1 with the uh, event reason of pay other. And then uh, the child record, which is the pay component recurring, is where the delimit's actually taking place. Okay, so now, let's see here, got everything all set up. Uh, but before we go and do 
uh, the change, I'm gonna go and I want to show you a before so you can kind of see what this looked like before. Um, the record that we are that we are trying to delimit. And so you can scroll down, as we scroll down here, I go to compensation, you will see under pay component recurring, notice that that meal allowance is there, uh, $700. Um, and we want to delimit that as of 10-1. So as of right now, you can see there's only one compensation information record and it's from January 1st, 2014. So what we're going to do now is insert a new record effective 10-1, 2019. So I'll go back to employee data And uh, so it's a two-step process. First, I am going to import the compensation information record, insert a record as of 10-1. So there's the record that I had come up with. Of course, I'm gonna validate the file. Now we're gonna to go to monitor job and confirm that the uh, file load was successful. Thirty nine process, thirty nine passed. Now uh, part two, which is to import the recurring pay record that corresponds to that compensation information record. So I'm going to select uh, pay component recurring, and I'm going to select my delimit file. Validate. Okay, you can see that, oh, whoops, I forgot and left the pay component out of the load file. Well, we're going to need that for sure. So now I need to go into our uh, pay component recurring pay load file and add in that pay component. So you do uh, definitely uh, have to include the pay component uh, so that it knows what to delimit as of the uh, uh, start date. So. Uh, when I said earlier that we needed the uh, employee number and, and uh, sequence and username um, or, or user ID, I left out one minor detail, which is the pay component. Okay, so I've added that. And let's see, invalid comments, event reason. Oh, that's because I picked the wrong file and it didn't like it, so now I have selected the right file and let's see what happens now. Validated import file data and I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and import it this time. Should have, I should have uh, uh, not just uh, validated but also um, checked the monitor first, but in the interest of time, I went ahead and just did the uh, full processing and it looks like it went through this time. 39 out of 39. And that was a validate I was checking before. Now you can see that the actual records uh, went through. So now I'm gonna go back to that same employee that we were looking at earlier where we, we saw the meal um, the before the uh, meal allowance, now we're going to see that it has been, it's not there any longer, but if we look back at the history, you will see that the, the, the uh, market adjustment has gone away, uh, or excuse me, the meal adjustment has gone away. So you can see that we were, were able to get rid of the, um, uh, what we had. And that's it. So we've been able to uh, delimit off uh, an existing uh, meal adjustment for several employees. So hopefully that helps you out.